What's up guys? You already know, it's me Kira, and today we're gonna go over Falcon's Punish game on Fast Fallers. Finally, the long-awaited video is here. First off, in order to start your combo game, you'll need to get a grab. This is the most important part, and there are a few general ways to go about doing so. The most common way is to land a neutral air and immediately grab afterwards. In fact, almost any aerial will generally lead into a grab if you do it fast enough. Retreating or in-place neutral airs can anti-air other characters' approaches and they'll often shield afterwards. The second way is to get a standard dash dance grab. The basis of this is simply whiff punishing their attack by making them think you're in one spot but then retreating before they can actually hit you. Sometimes, during shield pressure you can get jab grabs or even empty land grabs. These are really tricky and can also make your opponent scared to hold their shield, allowing your other moves to hit more often. Once you do get a grab, depending on the Falcon player, different players prefer to use different throws. At lower percents, you can down throw because you can move out of it slightly faster and also buffer the throw with the C stick. At higher percents, if they DI away from an up throw, you'll still be able to tech chase, but if they don't DI, you can oftentimes get follow ups before they hit the ground. Combos on fast fallers are 100% about tech chasing. There are a few ways you can go about this. The first method is to place a knee on a tech in place or a miss tech and re grab any rolls in other direction. Technically, this is only guaranteed if a platform or ledge stops their tech roll away, but usually they'll spam spot dodge or some other defensive option, and you can bait this out if you know you won't get there in time. Players like S2J sometimes use run up down smash to cover both spot dodge and roll behind. The second method is the reaction tech chase method. After a throw, you want to start by dashing forward, immediately wave dashing, and then reacting to any option that they do. You can usually throw out a jab to cover miss tech and still get the other techs as well. Now, this is the most difficult method because of how hard it is to react to tech in place, but there are also ways to circumvent that as well, such as shielding the incoming shine or dashing away from it. In case they miss tech and you don't jab reset them, you can also crouch in front of them and react to all their options that way. In this case, you look for a stand up in place or a roll, and if they get a attack, you'll easily be able to punish them out of your crouch cancel. The third method is the 50-50 method, which is somewhat outlined in our How to Tech Chase video with Sheik. In this case, the 50-50 is between either miss tech and tech in place, or reacting to a roll in either direction. To do this method, you just pick one of them and either guess stop in place, or wait and react to a roll. If you are waiting to react to a roll and they tech in place, you can dash dance around it to bait out a defensive option like in the reaction tech chase method. And the fourth method is heavily read based. Oftentimes, you can somewhat influence where they tech or guess where they'll go by the way that you move. Sometimes running towards them first will get them to tech behind you, or if you stand still, they'll still tech away. If you can get them to tech near the ledge, they'll often roll towards the middle of the stage, because if they get need close to the ledge, they'll probably die. Sometimes Falcon players will switch to this method halfway through a tech chase if they sense fear in their opponent or if they start to notice habits. There are a lot of nuances here, but you'll probably pick up some of your own read based techniques if you practice enough and pay attention. And the fifth somewhat side method is basically just to down smash or use side B. These options are good at covering multiple options. Down smash is particularly good at the ledge or on a platform to cover 3 out of 4 options. And side B also covers 3 out of 4 options and leads to kills if you guessed correctly. Around 50% is when you'll want to tech chase with a stomp. As cool as Falcon's combo game is, the heart of it and the most important part is to land a stomp out of a tech chase. At this percent, a stomp will lead to a knee, which nets you an edge guard situation or sometimes even kills them straight up. Side B's are also useful at higher percents as they hard combo into up airs or knee as well. After you land a stomp, Falcon's combo game is actually somewhat similar to what we've outlined in Falco's combo game. DI mix-ups are prevalent at higher percents and basically work like this. If they use survival DI, 
They'll live from a knee more easily, but up airs will combo into more up airs and more knees. If they use combo DI, you won't be able to combo off of the up airs, but a knee will kill way sooner. Watch how they like to DI most of the time and adjust your combos based on what they do. Reverse back airs can also act the same way as up airs. At around 90%, the most guaranteed way to end a stock is by using up throw to forward smash. If they DI away, you'll have to get that tech chase like normal. At slightly higher percents, up throw knee is also possible, and even if they DI away, you can often still land the knee if they're over 100%. Near the ledge, grabs are also extremely dangerous. If they continue to DI inwards, you can get a ton of follow-ups, including chain grabs and drop zones. If they DI away, they can usually escape, but by using forward throw, you can make them fly way further off the stage, making edge guards that much easier. Some of the more swaggy or disrespectful options include the sacred combo or a stomp to falcon punch. This can even work to higher percents if you stomp over a platform. In all of these situations, make sure to do your throw as quickly as possible in order to give them the least amount of time to DI. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching everyone. Before you go, the results of the last comment war are here. Here's what you guys, the people, have said. For next week, we want to know, which character do you think has the coolest combos? Let us know in the comments below, and we'll see you next week.